okay finally we're on the start of the expressway now heading away from Adelaide and we got the morning peak hour traffic because someone couldn't set their alarm properly and slept I in. Did, I did that. Really? Okay, sorry, I'll stand I corrected. Have three they did, they, she did set her alarm properly, but then she slept through it three times. I'm sorry, I, I have to talk truthfully. Oh, the expressway. Come out to Rapalese. I've been to several times now and it's awesome every time I go there, but Tilda hasn't been before. Tilda, what do you think? Are you dying to get there? <laughs> Okay, so we haven't come very far at all. Now we'll have our late breakfast in Murray Bridge and have something healthy like Hungry Jacks. And Tilda can have her coffee. So second coffee. Second coffee. I know what we should do. We should have, um, uh, like when we go on our road trip and sometimes down the bottom it says like the name of the towns people are going through, one after the, after the next. Instead we'll have like the coffee counter and we'll have how many coffees Tilda is up to on the road trip. And it'll be like, ding! Six coffees, ding, seven coffees, ding, nine coffees. And it'll be like, yay, now we're at Mount of Rapleys. And uh, Tilda has had 11 coffees. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's that many. I now pronounce you Sir Fartalot. Oh, thanks. You may now stand. Are we changing driver as well or? Uh, yeah, my back's a little bit sore. We'll have a driver swap. Seats are similar. Yeah, but I don't feel back pain when I'm moving around in the seat. I don't know why. Okay. He's like wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's convenient, Danny. <laughs> it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you reckon it's a painting or do you reckon they laminated it? I have no idea. I think they painted it. In Victoria now, not much further to Mount Arapalis. This is like 10 years later, they're still there. <laughs> Doing the same thing. But I need to go grab another coffee. This is not what I had in my mind when I, we were going the rock climbing route. Tony went in there. So I'm gonna go have a look what he's doing. It's a cow, or pig, or sheep. <laughs> so Tilda, I just finished getting my tattoo. How do you think Esther will react? Do you think she'll be like, Oh my god! I think she'll be surprised. She'll be like, mm, Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gonna, it's, yeah, it's alright. Are you gonna tell her? Before you go back or? I don't know, I'm still so thinking happy. about it. I'm still thinking, I don't know if it's should take a photograph and send uh, everybody the picture now to show I've got the tattoo straight away or just not tell her at all. And then next time where, you know, yeah. she find it by herself and go, oh, what the hell is that? And I say, oh, it's always there. You didn't see it. <laughs> you didn't see that last time. It was, it was been there for ages. And I'll show you guys the video highlights of how the landscape keeps on changing. Little Desert National Park. Okay, we're going to start our first climb now. We've arrived at Mount Rapleys near the end of the day, and not enough time for us left to do some multi-pitch climb. So I decided to take Tilda to a short, challenging, and very popular single pitch climb I'd already done before. What do you think, Tilda? Are you scared? Uh, not too much, but I didn't lose my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this one's definitely the right one. This is the first climb we're going to do for today. And this is the single pitch, wriggle up to the top. Come up there, go across halfway with an awkward part where you're kind of doing the splits. And then from that little bush there, you're kind of going up dead straight 12 o'clock and then you can have sail back down. I just hope that I don't slip and find out how Tilda holds my weight because I weigh nearly twice as much as her. So if I slip, I'm going to fall a bit and lift her up off the ground, most likely. All right, it's gone. Let's do the recording. So, 
there was the just before the hardest part of this climb. I fell off twice. And she managed to do it the first time. I was very, uh, didn't think she could do it, but she tried very hard and she managed to pull it off. Deep blood on my hand. <laughs> so yeah, it's safe. So Tilda has finished her first climb. Uh, I think this one is a 16. That's quite difficult for your first climb. And you can see it's starting to get dark. Yeah. We're seeing people walking back to the campsite. Blood anymore. You can't see the blood anymore. <laughs> it's under the wiping. <laughs> so now we're going to pack up quickly before it gets freezing and we're going to abseil. So end of day one and that is fucking fun. <laughs> Part of the climb she did backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I guess so the I'll just stand on my toes because she pointed the camera in the air. Because <laughs> I'm so heavy, we will always have something like that. I will do that so you can't get lifted off the ground by me okay. if I fall. But of course, when you leave, you have to take everything. Sure. So let go, and I'm going to pull and collect it. Yep. <laughs> well, start of day two now, and as you can see, Tilda's getting herself ready. She's got her hair all covering her face. <laughs> um, we're going to try something along the lines of a 12 or a 13, maybe a 14 at most today. Uh, it's a little bit cold. Not too much. All right, let's get underway. I had to get up, as always, to go pee in the middle of the night. I tried holding onto it for ages. Thanks for your phone. Yeah, I always <laughs> provide all the information. That's the part of a good trip. Nearly end of the rope. Safe. Trying to collect all of these, but some of these are really stuck. Oh, I, I just make it to look hard. <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm safe, I guess. And you can see Tilda's at the top now. It's a pretty amazing climb. You look at how high we are. This one is the, yeah, they were there yesterday. At the top of the other, the little one. Yeah, this is amazing. More blood. I've never had amazing blood before. <laughs> the climbing is amazing. Oh, well, not much left to do now. Now there's just about uh, 17 meters left, a tiny little pitch to get over this overhang. And that's the end of the climb for the day. <laughs> Okay, me and Tilda have been practicing the things to do for your, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. The things for your lead climbing for about an hour, an hour and a half. So she's got lots and lots of information, but I'm not scared if she dies, so it's all good. Um, now she's going to practice her climbing. And uh, yeah, check it out. She's got a scary overhang in the beginning, and I've got to stand here to get ready to catch her if she falls. There's nothing for your feet in the beginning, but there's lots for your hands. Only do a big four meter gap if it's really easy. Yep. No. <laughs> I'm just testing this, all of this. Just making sure that we're not broken before she does the climb. I hope it's alright. There's nothing. Now I'm a bit scared. It looks like there's nothing to hold on to. Let's try to get something in there. I think it won't come out. Okay, so we finished the climb now. It was a long, slow, easy climb. But as you can see, the sun is setting in the background. And it's going to be very cold soon, so we better get out of here quickly. Tilda did the last part of the climb, practicing leading. Did about 22 meters. Instead of walking all the way back, I'm going to walk across this edge to try and find the place where we can abseil. So we're going to go up over this stuff and walk over to Eskimo Nell, and we're going to abseil down Eskimo Nell, and hopefully we can get there so she can have a look at the campsite before dark. Get Translation, up. hurry the fuck up. I'll put your headlamp on before you start. I don't have my headlamp up here. It's on your backpack. Yeah. Go in. Don't 
They need to just drop. Well, I need to always do the hardest part. Start of our third day now at Mount Rapids rock climbing. I think you see someone's got an incredible amount of firewood. And Tilda is going to try out some Vegemite. Yeah, mate, Karaki bugger. Let's see it. Vegemite. I don't have anything good afterwards. I need to find my chocolate first. You need to have something good afterwards. Yeah. It's not that bad. Do you have anything else? What is Good, Vegemite. Go. Oh, I'm smelling awful. <laughs> Waiting. I'm oh, not good. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I am. I don't. I don't understand how you can like this. Everyone gets used to it. It's like vinegar. No one likes vinegar, but they love vinegar on their chips. She's had like three bars of chocolate since we've been here. I don't know how the hell you're not overweight. Okay, Tilda, for $2,000 on sale of the century, what is Tilda's most common word of expression during a rock climbing trip? I don't know. <laughs> Quick, your time's running out. Whoops. <laughs> well, I've had my morning show and I'm bright awake now. There's no better feeling than waking yourself up thoroughly with a nice shower, just using the bucket. I'll just help Tilda boil her water and show her how to have a warm camping shower. And once she's had a shower, we get underway. Mm, so now we're just going to go retrieve our shoes left behind, lost from yesterday. It was funny last night, so when you look, Tilda was looking for the shoes. I said like, go this way, go that way. And I said, don't worry about it. It's, you know, too long. We'll go back to the camp. It's like, no, I want my shoes. <laughs> I wanted them. You're not going to find them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like different place last night. It was like, it wasn't the same place. We now say goodbye. Yep. And wish Tilda good luck on finding the shoes. I hope she returns with my shoes at least. Good luck. That was quick. <laughs> was it hard to find the shoes? No, it was easier than yesterday. I am pretty sure I was next to them. I, I think you were probably right next to the running shoes last <laughs> night and you didn't see them. <laughs> yeah, but they were kind of hiding behind their own. Oh. And I was going that way. I couldn't see them and I was walking that way. So well, That's funny. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as a time you can come here to Mount Arapples and not see kangaroos all the time everywhere. There's a lot of people here these days, but it hasn't been spoilt just yet. There's still piles of natural wildlife. Okay, so we're here now. This is our lizard procrastination following that crack. So it looks very easy. We'll go up the crack a dead center and we'll try that one that's 11. And then once we've done that, it'll probably be quite easy and Tilda will be confident. And then I'll ask her if she wants to do it again, doing the variant backwards S that's a seven.
hook over there. Your left and your right hand and hooks everywhere. But of course it's an overhang. All these jagged rocks below. So if your arms give way, it's gonna hurt, that's for sure. But it looks fun. Uh, this looks like the detour going up the seven. So I'm gonna try this very intimidating eleven. Yeah, it looks like the hardest eleven I've ever seen. It looks fun though. Just uh yeah, don't wanna land on this. I think Tilda might not like that too much. I've done the overhang. It wasn't all that hard, but I didn't get to do it the way I wanted to. Yeah, I'll keep moving. I've got a great deal of drag now. In the end is just there. Hey. I've heard you swearing a little bit. Okay, the end looks very short and simple. And here is practically a staircase. That's the alternative ending at the back of the S, the backwards S that was talked about before at the beginning of the climb. But to make it interesting, I'm gonna try and stick to the center of that crack. It'll look interesting. Okay, day four now. And this time we're going to go try out a more challenging climb. This will be the hardest one we've done so far. Well, actually the one that we did in the beginning was a 16, it was really short. This one's going to be a really long 15, about 80 meters. And it will be the hardest, second hardest climb I've led after that watchtower crack, which was awesome. So I should be able to do it just fine. What do you think, Tilda? A very long 15. over who did what dishes I, said, yeah, I clean these dishes you do that one I did this one blah 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 no you didn't <laughs> Danny Danny is lazy he's just dissing his own own what he's using he doesn't want to do any I am very really lazy I am dishes. very lazy but I don't lie I did the fucking dishes I only left a no, little bit didn't. for you like 30% of the dishes no you didn't see what I mean we get along beautifully mm. See, Esther, it would have been so much better if you come along. Then you could be like the mum. You say, kids, stop fighting! <laughs> Sit in the car, shut up! We need a mum. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're just going to what's probably the entire world's most uh, useful rock climbing website, thecrag.com. So the one we wanted to do was called the Pharaoh's Back Wall. Oh, this looks cool. I think we're going to start there and just follow what they're doing at the moment. Working our way up to the guy below. Two that had lots of fun on the first pitch. No, it wasn't fun. Do you uh, want to explain to everyone your fun? It was fun, but not to take, try to take them out. Those, whatever, whatever they're called. They were stuck. When uh, Tilda <coughs> was climbing, about two or three of the nuts were incredibly difficult to remove. And you can see that in her hands. Now, there's not in the black and white picture we have, but you can see there's an abseiling point there. And I think that's been put in for people in our situation that have decided the climb is too much for them and they just cancelled <laughs> and wanted to leave. But we're not doing that. We're going to continue. And it looks intimidating with nothing really for your feet in the beginning, a bit slippery. But it looks like it becomes easy only after the first three metres. I'll see you at the next pit stop. That is fucking scary. <laughs> As the guidebook says, it's leaning out, it's a little bit of an overhang, a bit of a big fall. There's not much at all for your feet. And you have to hook your hands in there and lean backwards like that. It's fucking scary. But the rest looks really easy now. Okay. Black. Okay, here unfortunately is our last video footage for the day. And where things went greatly wrong for me. Seeing a super easy staircase appear on my left, and something that looked like a level 15 route on my right, I made the big mistake of going the wrong way. Here I had my biggest fall I've ever had. It was so scary, I can barely even remember the fall. But luckily, this big three-story fall was in a slight overhang, you can see, so I didn't crash into the rock face. Just a giant wedgie with the rope hooked under one of my legs in the fall, and thankfully, the only damage was my ego and a bruise line underneath my leg. 
The bad part about this big fall was the rope was jammed above my head, far out of reach. I couldn't climb upwards to unhook the rope, and climbing to my left back to tilt it meant I had to remove myself from the rope. Climbing dangerously with nothing but slings and cams, I eventually found my way back to Tilda. Unfortunately, I was feeling too shaken to continue with the climb, and the sun was setting behind us at the same time in the background. Luckily, however, there was a husband and wife couple we'd noticed climbing near us in the background, and they were easy to yell out to. Even more luckily for us, they told us they were voluntary members of an emergency services group, and helped us to unhook our rope and finish the climb. We thanked them as we walked back to the campsite in the dark. Okay, it's time to pack up and start heading home now. Was this like our fifth day or something like that? We'll go see how much energy Tilda's got inside her, if she's got a big smile on her face yet, or if she's still pissed off at me because I stole the last of her chocolate bar. So what do you want to do on the last day, Tilda? Tilda, did the rock climbing, you're going to lead the level five? Mm -hmm. I need my coffee. Seriously. She's very upset. She doesn't care about the last day climbing. All she wants is her coffee. You see, she's really young and I'm meant to be the old man, but look, I'm the one that's happy and she's the one that looks like she just wants to go home. I don't have coffee. You stole my chocolate. You didn't leave me any. You leave you ugly biscuits for me. Arnott's biscuits are Australia's best. Whatever. They're not good. Doesn't care about the rock climbing much, just the chocolate bar. Okay, so I stole your chocolate bus. So does that mean we just go home or do we do the level 5 climb you're going to lead the whole thing? I'm not going home. Okay, she still has some form of motivation. Okay, now day 5, both me and Tilda are both extremely exhausted and whingy. So we could continue on with the easy one, the level 5 climb I said Tilda could lead and practice her leading if she wants to. But going by both of our facials, I'm guessing she's not really up for climbing today. Uh, I'm extremely sore and tired. My legs are killing me. Do you want to do the level 5 climb and you lead the whole thing and then we abseil down? Oh, we can leave right now. And I'll show you a surprise on the way home that involves coffee and caves. So do you want coffee and caves or do you want to do the level 5 leading climb? Yes! I'm so glad she chose the lazy option. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm coming back here anyway, so one day. Yeah, I know. I'm coming back here heaps of times, so I don't need to do that five again over and over. I really wanted to show it to you, but yeah, my legs are fucked. <laughs> okay, Tilda, so before we go, are you going to say goodbye to Mount Arapiles? Yes. times with different people now. An amazing view, the top of Mount Arapiles. We're heading off somewhere roughly in that direction to Narra Port. Blanche Town is just over there. And if you look really, really carefully, you can see these mountains. Just from there, to there. That's the Grand Pits, so I have to try out rock climbing sometime in the near future. Yeah, I'll take a picture before they kick us out. I've been to the Narra Court Caves many, many times before. 
This time it was more fun just watching Tilda seeing it for the first time. Wondering if they have anything like this in her country. The motion sensors are here to turn the lights on as they explained to me in the past in case people are wondering or illegally hop over the fences at night time and come in here and get stuck or lost or the headlamp breaks or goes out, goes flat. They deliberately make all the lights in here automated with motion sensors so that if anyone is in the caves for any reason they can see where they're going. You see we've got a still bar here. This is one of the places you can head off on. On a guided tour? I haven't been here like this before. I've been here four or five times. Bye bye. If Tilda gets to come here again next time, we can show her something much more interesting. We're well, back on the road now, I guess. You want to drive? So cute. Thank you, little kangaroo. Hello. You better run to mum before I take you home. <laughs> and that's yeah, it. That's yeah. pretty much it for our entire trip. Going to Mount Arapleys, now on our way back to Adelaide. And we'll come back here again in about uh, six months' time at the end of winter. And there'll be another adventure with me, Keen, and Esther.